Sweet boy. Something the matter with you? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? Yeah. Mother. Mother. Fergus? Crowley. Fergus? I understand that you hate me. And if you want to keep me locked away, then so be it. But know that I'll always be your mother. And I'll always love you. Mummy. Bored, suicidal, both. Hardly, my dear. I'm learning so much. This place of yours, poor thing, I see now why you are the way you are. More important, I'm a mother. Sue me, I'm proud. Excuse me if I don't curl up in your lap. You did manage to stay away for 300 years. Please, we've been over this. The locals were going to try me for witchcraft and that never ends well. I had to flee. You could have sent for me. Well, then came the chance to study under the great Milanese witch, Letitia de Albioni. And then there was unpleasantness with the Grand Coven. Anyway, it was no environment for a child. So locking me away in a squalid workhouse was your solution? I will not apologize for being a career woman. Besides, what's 300 years more or less to folks like us? Nothing. I'm back now. We can be a family. Don't screw with me, sycophant. What in hell? Exactly what in the hell is going on in hell? Contract. Perpetuity. Binding terms. These are bummer words, lexicon. We can boost our conversion rate by, at minimum, 3%. Is it just me, or is this one as thick as mints? What could be a paradigmatic ship for our operation. King? Should I just stop? Did, Did I ask tell you, you to, to stop? stop? No, sir. Uh, there's no reason we can't achieve the same results here. You think I had an ulterior motive? That I've been manipulating you? You couldn't be more transparent. <laughs> well, duh. Of course I was manipulating you. I am your mother, after all. Manipulation's who we are. Oh. My wee sausage. What matter is it that I had a motive? We had fun today, didn't we? It was fine. What do you want from me? You can't understand my disappointment or my pride. You don't know this. But after I left you, after I was forced to leave you, I heard of your death, your mortal death. I thought you were gone to me forever. Then, hundreds of years later, and thousands of miles away, I find you, the king of hell. And not by luck or accident, you made that happen. All by yourself. You're not a mother. You can't know what that pride felt like. How huge it was. But can you try to imagine? You're no king. Not anymore. You're there. Time someone else ran in circles, eh? <laughs> nice touch. Something I might have thought of myself. You see? We're not so very different. Oh, God. Please. It's nothing you haven't seen before. You're my mother. I don't want to see anything. I've been to hell. Thanks. Next time, knock. This is my domain. I don't knock. <sighs> 
Did you want something, Fergus? It's crown. So... Firm. Please stop talking. You asked. But now, please, do you even care that Dean Winchester mutilated your mother? Because you were stupid. Because I love you. Tell me, Rowena, if I were not the king of hell, would you have ever bothered to pretend to care about me? You, you can't. I can. I'm bloody Crowley! I'm the king of hell. I do what I want, when I want. And I don't take orders from you. Epiphany struck. My mother was incapable of loving anything. For the first time in hundreds of years, I felt free. And then you showed up in my dungeon. We communed. And I began to realize you weren't incapable of love. You're incapable of loving me. Goodness, Fergus, save it for the stage, why don't you? Throw it, you lying bitch. If you could do that, you'd have done it. If I wanted to kill you, I'd have done that. Not that you haven't tried. You tried to kill me twice. What is it they say? Third time's the charm. Yes, an archangel so badass that he was personally dumped into the cage by God himself. Let's get to it then, lads. Flop sweat, Sonny. Dread of what's to come. Can it. Your barbs may amuse your circle of hags. You have no idea what you're tampering with. What Lucifer's capable of. Well, dear, if you can't stand the heat, get out of hell. Crisis. He's so alpha, isn't he? Probably not relationship material, though. Mother, you're drooling. Get a hold of yourself. Has anybody seen Chris Kringle? It's getting mighty close. Mom! To Mom, I got a Sam! And I haven't heard a single little Merry Christmas. Good for you, Dee Santa! Merry Christmas! How do you take it? Honey, Honey and a splash of milk. milk. Like mother, like son. Excuse me. I need to go vomit. Hurry back, dear. How's Dean? Pardon? Little tip, love. The next time you go about making secret plans, check your pockets. Hurry back, dear. You heard. Everything. A little tip, Mother. Never accept a cup of tea from someone who loathes you. This bloody thing makes you my slave. Oh. Hop on one foot. Please, Fergus. I don't know what kind of eatable Fifty Shades you think you're playing at, but if you think for a second... Bollocks. Mother. Why do you hate me? hate you because when I look into your eyes, I see the woman I used to be before magic, before the coven, when I was nothing but Rowena, the tanner's daughter, a 
pale, scared little girl who smelled of filth and death. I hate you because when you were born, your father said he loved me. Then he went back to his grand wife and his grand house whilst I lay pathetic and half dead on a straw mat, my thighs slick with blood. I hate you. Because if I didn't, I'd love you. But love, love is weakness. And I'll never be weak again. My Fergus was bright. What, before his first birthday? That he hated pants. Hated them. He'd run round the village. His wee banger just flapping in the breeze. Adam and Eve were the same way. Kids. Kids. So glad the world is ending. Wine, madam. I'm like a boil that keeps coming back no matter how many times I have it lanced. Let me guess. Your dinner date is loaded, single, and possibly in delicate health. What of it? Well, just a stab. But you probably don't want me to reveal that his snookums is 300 years old and a witch. Fergus, the man treats me like a queen. It's my chance to leave behind monsters and demons and mouldy hideouts. So help me if you muck this up. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it, Mummy. What's the bloody hold up? He's the one and only Satan in the phone book. It's witchcraft, not Google Maps. With Ben. Ben, who makes oatmeal look fascinating. He's successful, stable, and I'll outlive him. By we, I presume you mean the Winchesters and their pet angel. I don't need them. Just you. Manny. 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 Mummy's little paralyzing spell. Trust me, it works. Trust me. Not for long. Holy water. Yeah. A tear vessel? Not so much. Ah! Oh. Bad, bad crawling. Seriously? And then he just took off with his groupie friend. His groupie friend? Red-headed broad. Didn't say much. Rowena. So, Mother and I had an unfortunate, if not rather embarrassing, run-in with Lucifer. You're just mad, because you're only my second choice for a Lucifer Hunt team-up. No, actually, I think it's sweet. I thought your motivation was ambition and revenge, but now I know you just want to save your mother. It's not about saving her. If you're looking for Lucifer, you just missed him. Cup of tea. Get out! It's my place! Mother. Mother? Goodbye. Let him go, Fergus. Butt out. Fergus? He's not like us. He believes in things. Let him do what he believes is right. You. 
I'm sorry, Father. What you did, hello, even for you, wasn't right. <laughs> and you would know what's right. I know there's an ugly, rancid, spiteful reason why you sent my son, your grandson, to his death. I want to know what it is. He was a lovely boy. And in your own lizard way, I know you cared for him. Payback. I'm your mother, dear. Who better to crush your shriveled heart? Killed himself for us. But that doesn't sound like him. All right, well, Fergus, uh, uh, Crowley, um, he had changed a lot. You'd have been proud of him. Is that so? Fergus was my only child. And I promise you, I'd much rather have a living son, even one that hated me, than a dead hero. Death is something I want. What's that? My son. After you told me he was gone, how he died, I had an unexpected reaction. We had our differences, but it's my fault he went down the path he did. I left him. We're talking about Crowley, demon king of hell. We're talking about Fergus. A man, abandoned and loveless, tricked by a demon, died in a gutter. He deserved better from the world, from me. What happened to me, those were my choices. But Fergus never. It wasn't fair. It's not fair! I don't have many regrets, but the few I do still haunt me. Well, everything with dear Fergus. Then one day you die, you go to hell, they make you queen, and you can't make it right. And you wouldn't? No, because we're family, we're blood. Why are you let mom and dearest tie in the knots? Because we're family, we're blood. <laughs>